After announcing that Drawing Thoughts would soon be released, I've had many people sign up to show their interest, but also many people email me personally with questions that they want the answers to. And I thought now would be a good time to answer some of those questions to give you a better idea of what the book's about, what's inside of it, and if it might be of use to you. If, however, you have a, a question that I do not answer now, please drop me an email, I'll happily answer it for you, so that you can decide whether or not Drawing Thoughts is for you. No expensive gimmicks or gaffes, predominantly pieces of paper, pieces of card, sharpies, and other things you will already own. Is it suitable for walk around? Yes. Some of the methods in the book have been created, tested and worked in a professional walk around situation. Others in there for parlour or casual situations as well. And there are a couple of methods in there that you can use on stage if, if that's your forte as well. So yes, walk around is fine. Long answer, but you got it. No pre-show, no stooges, no jewel reality or methods that spectator you're performing for, or the room that you're performing for, um, and everyone within that room will be equally as amazed and baffled as to how you knew the picture or the image or the thought that you are duplicating or revealing. Lots of tricks. Uh, drawing duplications predominantly. A few other things that are surprises, uh, but for a lot more information about what's in the book, with a beat by beat breakdown of, of each of the effects and the approaches, have a look at the contents page on this website.